Team control panels are the best way to input your team information and save it for future use. So to get started, we're gonna start by opening up a team control panel. So as you can see right now, I've just got some general information added in uh, by using the old control panel or the old way of adding in team information. To use a team control panel though, I need to open a team control panel overlay. So I first need to download it because I haven't used it yet here. And this is gonna be found under the general tab or the general section. I'm gonna change this to domain. And I'm just gonna search for team control panel, which we see here is the second option. So we'll download that and then open it. So this is our team control panel. Uh, the first thing you need to know is that you have to have one of these for each team. So I'm gonna go ahead and reopen this and hit uh, the checkbox on another team control panel. And we're gonna open up another one. Uh, so the first thing you probably wanna do is select this home and away toggle here. So this lets you change whether that team that you're about to enter that you've already entered, um, set it to either the home team or the away team. So we'll set this one to the home team and this one to the away team. And you always wanna hit apply after you make that make any changes here. So you notice when I did that, it actually overwrote what we had already put in on the, uh, on the control panel um, because we're starting to add information here that's gonna overwrite that. So to get started, we're gonna click on edit team for our home team. And here we can come in here and we can put in our team information for that home team. So we'll come in here and we'll just put in some general information here, team one, location one. We'll do some on the phone like Eagles, uh, team one for the abbreviation. And then we'll just change the, the background color, the team color, so that we know who, uh, which team is which here. So we'll hit save. And now when I hit apply, It'll add that team information to the uh, to the home team. Now we can go and do the same thing for the second team. So you can see we have the ROA team toggled there. We'll hit uh, edit team and I'll put in team two, location two. We'll do falcons, segment the birds, and we'll do team two here as well. Uh, choose my color, we'll do red versus blue again. Hit save. And also point out uh, this select logo here is where you would actually choose a logo um, from your computer that you wanna put in as that team's logo. I'll hit save. When I hit apply here, it'll add that team information to the away team information. Now, now that we have that team information plugged in, we can also start by filling out a roster. So if you wanna do starting lineups um, or player stats down the line, you can build out your roster by clicking on this little plus sign uh, down here. When you do that, you get a similar window that you had before where you'll start plugging in player information. So you can put in their number, their name, their position, uh, the abbreviation for that position, as well as their experience. And experience is usually, you know, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, um, something to that nature. You can even add in an image. If you have a headshot of that player, you can select that and add that image in there. We'll go ahead and just close that out. Now the, the most important thing or the biggest benefit to the team control panels is that you can save these for future use. Uh, so I can go over here and I can come to my home team. You know, if this is your team that you're gonna cover all season, you can right click on it and hit save. This is gonna open up that overlay manager window and you're gonna go to the title here. Now the important thing, like I've mentioned in other videos is that you want to save this with a title that you'll recognize or that you'll be able to search for and find easily. Uh, so what I usually do is I will leave team control panel and I will put the name of the team here. So we'll just do um, team one dash team control panel. Um, and so what you can do is after you fill that out, you'll want to hit save as new. So you're saving a new version of that team control panel. If you hit overwrite, you're going to overwrite the team control panel, the empty team control panel that you just downloaded. Um, onto your computer and you don't want to do that. So you're going to click save as new. It'll take just a moment for that to save there and you'll get a little message here once that's finished. And there we are, we're all finished with that. So now what I can do is I can close out of our team one here. I'll go with a plus sign. 
And now if I change this, um, these permissions from domain, which is the, um, the clean set of overlays from, from our system, to user, which is everything that we've saved under our user account, which includes that team one team control panel, we can now open that information right here. So we'll check that box, hit open, and that team control panel now reopens. So this is our team one team control panel. And if I hit edit team, you'll see that all that information is still saved. So this is a great way for you to create a team control panel, enter in all of your team information. Um, typically you wanna do it by sport um, or whatever team you wanna do, and you can save it and you can reuse that every game rather than having to plug in that same information. The other key is that you need to have one for each team. Um, it is possible to mix and match. So you could do one team control panel and then just plug in your away team information you know, over here on the old control panel way. Um, but usually it's a little bit cleaner just to use two, two team control panels to save all of your information.